What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Terraria 1.3. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we craft ourselves some new gear. I also made myself a vanity helmet, I made some goggles. If you don't know how to make the goggles, they're my favorite head slot item because they don't cover your hair and it makes you look like you have shades on or something. So anyways, you gotta take a chair and you gotta put a chair next to a workbench in order to get it to work and then it just costs two lenses. It's one of those little recipes that like some people don't know about so I figured I'd bring it up considering I always go out of my way to get that recipe done and I've been focused on the series so far so I haven't got around to it, but I always play with the goggles. I don't know. I like the goggles. They make me happy. They make me feel like I'm about to rocket off into the horizon and be a badass. And so, nonetheless, now that we've got our goggles, we need to make ourselves some more gear today. And so, like a clock which is well crafted, we will have many gears by the end of this episode. The first thing that I wanted to make, I would like to make gold weaponry, but... I think I wanted to make some tungsten armor first, so with the tungsten chainmail, that's going to cost me 30 right there. And so there it is, we'll put that on our chest piece, yes piece. And then on that side, we've got ourselves some tungsten greaves. Ah, we got the full set bonus, there it is, we're taking care of business. Taking care of business, every day. Oh, it gave us three defense, so that's pretty good. I was hoping it would do something different, like a double jump or something like that, but that works out for me. I like the color green, so I like the way our armor looks for right now. With the excess gold that we have, the way that I'd like to apply that, we could either make ourselves a gold bow, or we could make ourselves a gold broadsword. I, if we take a look up here, hold on for a second, let's go back up, and if you go onto these little, if you go onto the tables, you can make some other stuff too. I think you can make like pocket watches and things like that from the table. Yeah, you can make a star in a bottle, you can make a gold watch, or you can make a tungsten watch, it appears. So I'll probably, let's just make a tungsten watch, I guess, something to help us tell the time. Does it go in our inventory, or like, how does that work? Where does the time go? Oh, we can actually just mouse over that right there. Where does the time go on our screen? Where is it? Oh, 1 p.m. There it is. Okay. Um, I threw a glow stick inside of my house. Luckily, it doesn't run any risk of, like, breaking anything. At the shop. What do I... Oh, he has, he's got different stuff now, does he? No, he's got the same things. What am I talking about? I'm full of shit. Let's see. We can get a mining helmet, which is actually a pretty good call, too. The mining helmet will make it so we have to carry around torches anymore. But then again, if something goes wrong and you lose your mining helmet, it's going to be pitch black down in all of your tunnels. We got the sickle. Probably won't use that right now. I should probably plant some trees, too, in this episode. Still, we've got bombs. I'll probably sell those because I don't tend to use them very often. I mean, I guess I could store them for later, but I just don't tend to use them very often. I think we could probably go after some bunnies out here, too. Do I actually... Does that just have to be in my inventory? If it has to be in my inventory, that works out great. Okay, so it just has to be in my inventory. Let's get some bunnies captured because they're worth money, and then you can do other stuff with them, too. There's one right there. Capture ourselves a bunny, which apparently requires a bug net. Eh, the things we learn when we play Terraria. Go back over to the left, and let me plant some of these trees real quick, too. Because we're going to be having wood problems if I don't do that. Because we have deforested a rather large chunk of the map already. And so I'm going to do some foresty things. There we go. We'll put those in. Got a little bit of hay over here. We'll start dropping in some of these guys. Looks like it's going to be good over on this side. I don't know. I like living in forests. It's one of those things that's just pleasurable to me. I don't know. I grew up around redwoods and stuff like that. So I like them. I like them a lot. Redwood trees are badass. They really sincerely are. Like, until you realize how old some of those redwood trees are. Like, my parents have one in their front yard that I'm pretty sure is, like, absurdly old. Like, seriously, probably, like, hundreds of years old. The thing is stupid huge. Like, it's a giant redwood tree. It goes up almost forever. The squirrels love it, too. They like to throw their poo out of it every single day. Rats do the same thing. Rats and squirrels, if you watch them carefully, I don't know if anybody's ever watched a squirrel carefully or a rat carefully. Anyways, if you watch them carefully, they clean out their nest every single day, and so they kick out all the detritus, all of their random refuse, they kick it out. And so, we used to have that problem. I used to have a swimming pool when I was... Uh, used to have a swimming pool that was in front of trees. And the trees were filled with rats and also squirrels. And so anyways, the dog used to kill them all the time. I, we had a Pomeranian. And you don't know this about Pomeranians if you've never had one. But Pomeranians are actually a ratting dog. They're really, really good. They instinctually will kill rats. And they're good at it too. They're real good. Like they walk up and they got this little thing that they do. Where he grabs it by the back of the neck and he flips it over his shoulder. And it snaps the neck and he just drops it on the ground. Like it's instantaneous. You hear like pop squeak over. Like and they kill it really, really fast. He's also got this other thing he does where he stomps on their spine. But... And he doesn't do that one quite as much, but anyways... Wait, I don't want to remove my spawn point. Still, back to the thing that I was talking about. Back to the thing I was talking about. I was going to sell something over here to you. What does a squirrel sell for? You want your five silver for a squirrel? There you go. Pay me. Pay me right now. I will sell you all the animals in the kingdom. 
So yeah, every single morning the squirrels and the rats would clean out their nest. You could see them. You would see like a bunch of wiggling in the tree, and then you would just see like a bunch of like random sticks and shit fly out of the tree and land in the pool. Yep, the joys of having, I don't even know what those trees are called, they're like those tall, cylindrical looking trees that are green with the, kind of got like evergreen little, I don't know what they're called, whatever. Not gonna talk about it anymore because I feel stupid right now. Let's, I need to drop in, I mean these need to go in the gear chest I guess. What is that right there? Why is that red squirrel over here? Is that squirrel, what's up with that red squirrel? Is it like a special squirrel? I've heard that in Europe, you guys don't like our gray squirrels. Like, apparently, they're like a nuisance for you guys. They're like invasives or something like that. We don't have red squirrels here. At least, I don't have red squirrels where I live. We only have the gray ones. And yeah, they're a pain in the ass. Those things, when they get going, especially during mating season, they'll be out in the tree, like, next to your window when you're trying to sleep. Like, <laughs> making hella noise. Ugh, so annoying. I can't believe I just did that on the channel. A little embarrassing, but oh well. I know squirrel noises. Don't judge me. I know squirrel noises. We've got a, what is that right there? A butt fly? Well, I want to capture some butt flies before the sun goes away. Bequeath unto me nature your butt flies. No, butt fly, no! You're too high up in the sky. Butterfly in the sky. Come to my net right now. A sulfur butterfly? Ew, this butterfly smells like farts. Okay, so apparently we don't, we have a sulfur butterfly. I didn't even know that was a thing. Can I release it? I can. Go away, sulfur, but actually I want to see if you sell for money first. Hold on, do you sell for money? My inner capitalist here. My inner capitalist is screaming at me to make sure it doesn't sell for something. Oh, I mean, 10 silver for what does a red one sell for? Apparently 5 silver just like the rest of the squirrels. The color of the squirrel don't matter. It's the quality of the squirrel that dictates the price. Okay. Well, from here, I think I'm going to start building in this episode. I think we're not going to do any... I've been doing a lot of adventuring lately. And so I think I owe you guys a couple of building episodes. And so I'm going to dig down real fast. And I think we're just going to make, like, a second little area where we can live. And so we needed to make room for new people to come and live with us. Because we needed to expand our repertoire of support individuals before we go much further. We get ourselves, like, a mini shark or something like that. Like, if we get the firearms guy, that'd be pretty cool. I will probably... You know what, this is looking pretty good to me. Let me get all the dirt cleared out from underneath here. There we go. So we get all the dirt cleaned out. And I don't know what I want this to be shaped like. But I'm pretty sure I want it to be angled. I'm pretty sure I want it to be angled. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll iron this out a little bit better. And so there it is right there. And we're going to let this drop down to wherever it wants to go, actually. I don't know how deep this is going to go, but it's going to look pretty badass when it's done, I think. So that'll have to go there. I Actually, i got to take out the stone layer, too. So let's get rid of all of that. It's a little bit dark. I'm having trouble seeing. So let's go ahead and pin a torch up real fast before we go much further. As I understand it, people that play these sorts of games enjoy watching people build. And so that's what I'm going to do with my time. Not really sure, but yeah, I understand our gray squirrels are invasive in Europe or something like that. They cause you guys headaches somehow. Somebody told me about that, and I was like, really? I had no idea. I mean, that's not... Unfortunately, you don't hear about things like that over here unless somebody from Europe comes around and tells you about it. And so there it is. And I guess that's what my aunt says. She's from Wales. My aunt recently emigrated from Wales to here. I guess she immigrated to the United States. She had her citizenship and everything. She took her test and whatnot a couple weeks ago. Not a couple weeks ago, I guess. I'm actually losing track of time. She took her test somewhere around... Last Thanksgiving, actually. I remember her talking about taking the test. And so anyways, she's a United States citizen now. She has dual citizenship, I think. She's like a Welsh citizen and... A United States citizen, I guess. I don't know exactly how that works. My uncle, fun factoid right now, my fun, my, my, my uncle was a French citizen and an English, or I'm sorry, a French citizen and a United States citizen until he turned like 24 or something like that because he was born in France while my granddad was deployed in France. And apparently if you're born on French soil, you get automatic citizenship or something like that. I don't know exactly how it works, but either way. And then when he was 24, he either had to... They sent him a thing for, like, the French Foreign Legion or something like that. And he said that's when he knew he had to, like, decide or something. I don't know. He got, like, a piece of paper from the French Foreign Legion or something when he was, like, 21 or something like that. That said that he either had to serve two years in the Foreign Legion or he had to do something to keep his dual citizenship. And he was like, oh, well, I've never been to France and I don't think I'm ever going to go to France because, you know, like, he just doesn't think he's going to be out that way. And so he went ahead and he just, like, canceled it, I guess? I don't know. He canceled his... He canceled his citizenship like it's a Netflix subscription or something. I don't know. It's a weird situation. Man, yeah, fun factoid about my family. One of my family members was a French citizen for a while. 
But apparently there's like a limited duration on that. So I wanted this to look kind of like this right here. And I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look pretty good. Like, you have to bear with me. I don't know exactly how this is all going to function over on this side. I haven't, I haven't really, like, theorized it out yet. But it's going to look cool. I can tell you that much. It's going to look super cool. Super cool! Alright, so let's go in right here. And now that we're looking super cool, we're going to put in a gray brick. Yes, gray bricks are the best bricks. Nobody likes the red ones. Take that down a little bit. Oh, I just destroyed my own flooring. Damn it. This is going to be one of those measure twice, cut once things, isn't it? That my dad was always telling me about. So if we take this out this way, there we go. That looks nice. I don't think it looks weird. And this is one of the like primary reasons why. Why is nothing attacking me right now? This is very, very odd. Like, we haven't been attacked over the last couple nights, and it's starting to make me feel weird about this whole thing. Like, I feel like I'm owed an attack, and it just hasn't happened. Like, maybe it's because I put down too many torches or, like, illumination or something. That's probably what it is. There's a squirrel trap down in our pit right there. Yes, sir. You thought you was a smart one till we caught you up in the squirrel pit, my boy. Got you caught up in the squirrel pit. Now go run off, and then we pull you out the squirrel pit when we go ahead and get ourselves across. That is when we go down to Louisiana. Alright, so we got platforms right here, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that right now. I should probably wait. I've got a hammer. Oh, good. It works pretty quickly. I should probably... No, I don't want to do that. That's a bad idea. Let's... But I can do this right... Hey, get out of here, bunny. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, that's right. You gotta work from the top. I forgot about that. There we go. So that'll work out. Just bang on some walls for a little bit. It's going to take a little while to get this all cleared out, but on the plus side, actually, let me make a cut right here. Sorry about that. We're back in business now. So anyways, yeah, were we talking about squirrels or something? I've eaten squirrel before. I don't know if any of you have ever had squirrel before. Squirrel's actually not that bad. Squirrel's good. I mean, it's good. Better if you're hungry. I mean, that tends to be the rule for just about everything. It's better than raccoon. I've had raccoon before, too, and raccoon is downright awful. What a greasy, nasty animal. There's no excuse for eating raccoon. It's just a gross animal. I had raccoon stew one time, and I was unimpressed. It tastes like the inside of a dumpster. I don't know. Considering that's where a raccoon gets most of it, most of its meals, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, you are what you eat, and I assume that that rule works for raccoons, too. Still, nasty, nasty animal. Squirrel's pretty good, though. We used to have squirrel stew every now and again when I was a kid. Not super often. And it wasn't my family. One of my friends. It's the same family that would have the crawdad feeds or whatnot that I was telling you about. The family that was from Louisiana and Finland. We used to eat squirrel every now and again at their house. It wasn't bad, though. Like, squirrel is one of those things that people kind of turn up their nose at until they've had it, and it's no different than any other meat. Squirrel's not bad. It's a little gamey, but it's all right. I mean, I'll take squirrel over venison, for example. I just don't like venison. Venison is... Mm, doesn't do anything for me. Does not do anything for me. I've never had good venison. It's just... It's all too gamey and gross. And somebody explained to me that that's because we have, like, mud deer or something out here. I don't know. Like, nasty, low-class deer or something. I'm not really sure exactly how it functions. But somebody had said something to that effect at one point. I don't know what I should do with the rest of this right here. I feel like I should probably even this out somehow. But I don't know the proper way to do it. I... Got a hillside right there. Maybe this is where I'll cut this off, and then we'll do the other expansions elsewhere. I don't know. Here, you be right there. We'll take that down that way. Yeah, that works out. I mean, it'll look okay for right now. It's not my favorite, but it doesn't look bad either. I think that it's workable. And so this is going to be the next little chambered area where we decide to have people move in. I want to get the demolitionist. Now that we've looted dynamite, the demolitionist should move in without too many more problems. we got a gray brick wall right there that I accidentally knocked out while I was using the auto build. There we go. And so we got this over here. I got to go back to a workbench. Let's get ourselves moving. We got to go and get a little bit of stone right here. So let's grab that. I don't want to use too much of this up. Oh, it actually uses raw stone. Okay, I didn't know it used raw stone. Well, damn, I may have screwed this up then. It may be a little bit more difficult than... Oh, no, that's normal stone wall. I don't want that. Ah, Actually, it can go underground. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to make use of the things that I have right now. That's perfectly fine. Whatever. There it is. I don't know why that's so pleasing to me to do this right here, but being like a helicopter of back wall building makes me really, really happy. Does that pop, 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 I don't know. It's just fun. It's just all around enjoyable. It's just a thing that's pleasurable to me. Let's go ahead and put in some more wall over here. Yep, there it is. Looking pretty good. I think that I should be able... Oh, am I too high for that one? Hold on. 
too high to put in a wall. The story of my life in construction. All right, well, I'll put that in right there. Should be able to finish this off, too. I don't know if I want to go. I'm not going to go up above the surface, though, so we'll probably just go to right there. There we go. So that looks a little bit better. I mean, we got the back wall right... Oh, there's still a hole in the wall. Hold on. There's a hole in the backing of my wall. There's a hole in the backing of my wall. There's a hole. There's a hole. Okay, and so the next thing I needed to do is... There's a star that just fell around here somewhere. I don't have eyes on, so I guess I'll just leave it for right now. I... What do I want to do now? I needed to make extra rooms for some of these guys. I need to make chairs and tables and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how much timber I have left. Looks like we got 54, so that should be ready to go in just a minute. But instead of working on that, let's go ahead and jump on through. And I think that I need my bricks are already there. So I figure we probably just bring this out like so. And somebody can you know, dwell down here if they so desire it. I can probably turn this into a ramp, which will make it a little bit easier. to. No, I didn't want to bash out the back wall, damn it. No, stop bashing out my back wall. Just go back to where you were. There we go. And why is this on an incline? Why not? I mean, that would really be the question that I would ask. And I'll probably put in a platformo right there. There we go. So that looks like it's going to work out pretty well. Now that we got the platform, i got to put that back wall in because I was not careful. There we go. So that'll look a little bit nicer. we got to come up with a lighting solution for all this, too. I need my torch back real quick. Throw that into my inventory. And now that we got the torch, I'll probably just put that up by the ceiling in each of these little rooms. And this will be the next chamber that people can live inside of. So there it is right there. And then in addition to the rest of this, we'll probably start digging out this way. Or, I don't know if I want to build another surface area, so what we could do is I could just build, like, another tower over here. Make this a little bit taller and have, like, one person up in the bell tower, maybe, or have the bell tower be my room. Then we can make, like, a big hall over here or something like that. That might be fun. I don't know. There's lots of things to play around with in building games, and so... I always have ideas. Go back over to there, so that'll work out for right now. I'm gonna need two doughs. And I'm going to need to put some of these platforms down so that we can climb down into the bottom floor. I think the guide is going to use up a room, which totally sucks. I don't want him to, which means that we might net only get, like, one more person here. So if I take those down, we should be good, I hope. And so there it is. That'll go down through our house. I guess I could do it with ropes, too. That's the other way that I can make this work a little bit better. But not going to think about it. Instead, let's go back over to this side. Let's get some construction done. And once we get our construction finished off, I need two doors. Bam, bam. I needed two chairs. And I needed two tables. So there they are. All ready to go. And we'll get these placed one by one. Well, I guess two by two, considering I have two of all of them. But you get what I mean. You get what I mean. We'll do like a Noah's Ark situation here. Get all two by two. I mean, this is using up far more space than it actually requires. But still, I like the way that it looks, and this gives people the opportunity to live inside the house of the Splat forever. Amen. We'll put that right there. We'll put that right there. All right. And so now he should move into here, I think. There's also, like, a planning mode that you can go into where you can decide where you want them to live. Like, you can hang the little banners and whatnot in whatever room you want them to lay claim to. For right now, I'm not going to fiddle with it too much. I think that instead... I don't know where I want to build my next tunnel at. We could go off to the left right here, or we could build on the surface. It's a rough call. I don't know which one I like better. It's a rough call. Got like one little wooden building right. Can you catch birds? Like, do birds give you anything? Oh, they take off super soon. Ain't no way you're catching those. Not without some kind of like secret machinery. All right, well, I can't catch a bird, so I guess we'll go over here. Did I have any wall backing right here that I could throw in right there? It actually bothers me that that's not... I mean, it hasn't bothered me for like the last five episodes, but it's starting to. It's starting to. I guess I'll have... You know what? This all looks fine to me. Let's go ahead and make a few more. I think I need to make some... Yeah, there we go. We'll get some silk going on right here. A little bit more silk done. I can make a star and a bottle. I'm just sleeping like right here. Like, technically, I don't even have a room right now. So maybe I should expand this out further upwards. And we'll live, like, up in the tower like Quasimodo. There we go. And so let me dig a hole through the top of this bastard. Take it on up. And we got the two layers right there. Alright. And then I guess this will just be, like, my little room right here. 
I don't know how I want to do this, but... Technically, I, I feel like that's not what I want to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. And we'll just, like, come what may this thing out. And this will be, like, my own little room here. Yeah, that'll work. Take this on. No! Something bad happened right there, and it's not what I wanted to happen. Let's take this up a little bit higher on this side. There we go. And this will just be like my little sanctuary. Jump on over to the other side. Looks slightly off to No, that's right. That's right. It's totally right. There's no way that that's wrong. Obviously it's right. We'll go in right there. Let's go grab the back walling and we'll throw that in on that side. And then we will get our bed moved up into the little tower. We'll put in a couple of chests and things like that. And just see like if we could have a little area that's our space where nobody else comes along and bothers us. I needed to make back walling. That's what I needed to make. So we'll go through and back walling should be right there. Gray brick wall. Yes, indeedly doodly. I don't think we'll need much more than that. Like, we don't need, like, a ton of back walling right now. There it is. Get it looking nice and purdy up in here. Oh, looking good. Try and keep this from overbuilding. I don't think that it will. It should combine to the inside of the over blocks. I think. No, see, it did what I didn't want it to do. It did what I didn't want. What are you? No, don't, don't auto break down. Stop that. Stop that right now. Okay, so if I go back, I can fix this. I promise. I can fix this. I am a building man, and I can do this. Okay, so we'll go over there. All right, we'll build that right there. We'll make sure that's all sealed off. Good. And so this is going to be our little space right here. It still looks odd from the outside. Why does that look off? It totally looks off. And it's weirding me out as to why. I know I'm going to see it in a couple of episodes, but oh well. Don't have time to mess with it right now. I don't like eating up entire episodes, just playing around with buildings. We'll edge all these out because I do like fine corners right there. That's looking pretty good. I'm happy with our initial base. we got our own little like Tower of Babel thing going on right here. And then maybe I'll put in like a back wall out here and then we'll build like another area off and on this side. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about the prospects of what we can build here though. Let me go ahead and break that bed down real fast. We'll bring it on up to the top layer. And there it is. All right. In our little bell tower here. We'll set our spawn point. I'll probably make a... I don't know. I could probably make something to fit up in here. But for right now, let's go back down. And I've got the I've got a banner thing that I can build, can't I? Let's build some banners. I like the color green. So that's what we're going to go for. We'll get two green banners right here. I'm just going to hang them up. A little bit of decoration to make our house look nicer. And so I'll go like right... There we go. That'll look good. And then we'll hang one up right there. That's looking pretty awesome. And then we'll put the flame source right next to the banners. Because obviously that's a safe thing to do because tapestries never catch on fire. And then from there, I think I'm going to break the episode off. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode. A little bit low-key this time around. But I figured we've had enough Thor. Now it's time for some low-key. I'll see you later. How you do, everybody?